Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from the Automation Blog. And in this episode of the Automation Minute, I'm going to show you how to import images into Factory Talk View Machine Edition, including how to import Symbol Factory images. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see here I already have a project open. And you can see here by default the Images folder here has several default images in it. These are just really some very basic images. Um, you know, arrows, up and down arrows, whatever. And what we want to do is import an image. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on images and select add component into application. Now here you can see I have two choices, bitmaps and JPEGs. And that's because I'm running version 6.1. In version 7 they also added PNG support and uh, we get transparency support with that as well which is really cool. So uh, let's go ahead and select JPEG and I'm going to go ahead and select the logo for uh, the automation blog here and click on open and you can see I get this error and I find that sometimes when I save JPEGs with Photoshop I get this error but there's an easy workaround all you have to do is open and save the file using Microsoft Paint and that seems to eliminate the issue so let me go ahead and add a component into application again change it to JPEG and this time I will choose the logo which I've opened and saved in Microsoft Paint and uh, it comes right in. You can see it right here in the project tree. I'm going to double click on it to open it and here you can see the logo for the automation blog. Now at this point that's great we've imported an image let's use it on a graphic display. So I'm going to go ahead and open up main and I'm going to go to objects and I'm going to go to drawing image and I'm going to click and drag and then let go. The size here doesn't matter because it'll resize to whatever image I select. So let me go ahead and select my logo and click on OK and boom you see I have the logo my JPEG imported and on a graphic display inside of Factory Talk View Machine Edition. Now I promised to also show you how to bring in Symbol Factory images and there's different ways of doing it but let me show you the way I do it. I just go to Objects, I go to Drawing, Image, I'm going to go ahead and drag and let go here and then I'm going to click on Launch Library and here I'm just going to select this button click on copy and then click on paste and now it's asking me hey do you want to use that same name that that object had in Symbol Factory? I'm going to say yes so I'll click on OK and then I'll click on OK again and now you can see how easy it was to bring in an image from Symbol Factory to my project. Now one more tip I'll show you while I'm here is you can resize these either as a perfect square or proportionally so you go ahead and grab the handle and then hold down the shift key if you want proportional and then let go of the mouse button this is important let go of the mouse button first and there you go so that's the shift key if you hold down the control key it'll be a perfect square and that's good for even if you're using regular drawing objects like you're trying to draw a uh, perfect circle just hold down that control key and then let go of the mouse key first and you'll get that perfect uh, square in this case a perfect perfect circle and that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute. Now if you found that helpful you may want to consider my complete PanelView Plus course PVP Basics which you can find at hmi-basics.com. And if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to support the show then uh, you can now download episodes of the show over at automationtutorials.com or even better yet become a premium member or a premium supporter and you'll get ten dollars worth of free downloads every month. So check it out over at automationtutorials.com or theautomationblog.com forward slash support. And with that that's it. If you have any questions about today's show please feel free to ask me by posting those questions over at theautomationforums.com.